There is a big misconception that becoming a full-time music producer is all about producing great music, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Many producers have amazing music, but only a small percentage of them are able to turn it into a full-time career, and this is because of all the decisions that they are taking outside of the studio, not inside. So today I want to go over the five main reasons as to why I was able to make it a full-time career and how I was able to quit my 9-to-5 job in just two years. The first reason is prioritization. When I first started, I instantly treated it as a career, not a hobby. I knew what I was in for and what I wanted from it. If you go about it as a hobby, you're just going to end up practicing a little bit here and there, maybe releasing one song a year, and it's never gonna work. There's this famous productivity rule about having three main focus and priorities in your life. Becoming a full-time music producer and content creator was one goal of mine, which is why when I was filling up my calendar of the week, I was always starting by putting down my music production time sessions and only if I had time left over after work and music, I would input stuff like family, friends and other hobbies, but not the opposite. Now you're probably gonna think that I went way too hard on it, that I'm totally crazy, but there's a reason it is on this list of why I was able to make it full time. And this is the reason why you clicked on this video, right? So I'm just telling you my truth. The second reason is that I built myself a social media presence. Now I know you are probably very tired of hearing this or you tried it and it didn't really work for you, but this is the world that we are living in right now and you have to take advantage of it. Social media is literally your chance of making a full-time living from the comfort of your own bedroom. Me posting on social media is the reason I can teach other people how to make music, it's the reason I produce for other people, it's the reason I can work with music brands and sell my own digital products. You literally have millions of potential clients, customers or students at the tip of your fingers. As you know, it's not easy, it requires a lot of time, a lot of work, effort and and consistency but if I did it when I started with absolutely zero knowledge or skill whatsoever, believe me, you can do it too. To this day, I owe literally everything I have to social media. And no, you don't necessarily have to be an influencer or music content creator like I am, but if you wanna teach to other people, you have to show off your teaching skills, your techniques or methods. If you want to get DJ gigs, you need to show off your DJ skills on TikTok or Instagram Reels. And if you want to sell your beats, well, you need to share them with the world. If you see social media as an opportunity and not a chore, I guarantee you, you will succeed. The third reason is that I started before I was ready. I get so many DMs telling me that their production quality isn't ready yet or that they will start once they're done with school and it always makes me sad because it reminds me of myself three years ago. When I first got the idea of starting this YouTube channel and Instagram page, I remember telling it to my boyfriend and giving him excuses after excuses like I need to wait until we own our own apartment so I can record videos or I'll start recording videos when I have my own studio because it doesn't look good right now. And oh my, thank God he pushed me to start because, well, simply put, I wouldn't be shooting this video right now. <laughs> and I would probably be still stuck in my nine to five job. Just learn and adapt along the way. I swear you will be further than if you don't start at all. Remember that the first day I posted on YouTube and the first day I posted on Instagram was probably two weeks after me learning what a doll was and probably when I did my very first song, so yeah. Plus, to be completely honest with you, you will never feel ready, like absolutely never. To this day, every time I have to record a video, it's stressful to me. Every time I release a song, I wonder if I should really release it or not. But the important thing here is that I always keep moving forward and keep building my music career one day at a time. Damn, that's some good motivation talk. Next. Now, in just a few seconds, I will reveal the last two reasons and they're probably gonna be triggering for some of you, but first I wanna pass off the question to you. Where are you or what stage are you in into your music production journey so far? Let me know in the comment section below. I really wanna get to know you better. And if you are getting value out of this video, please don't hesitate to smash that like button right over there, right? Eh? So the fourth reason I was able to make music my full-time career is self-discipline. I know you probably don't want to hear it, but it is why it's one of the reasons I was able to make it full-time. It's because no one else wants to do that. No one else wants to do the hard work. So don't be one of them, be better. Building a whole career from the ground up requires an insane amount of work and effort. Nothing comes easy. Right now, for example, it is a thousand degrees in this studio. God, it's so hot. I feel very tired because I didn't sleep at all last night. Mentally, I'm not there these days, and all I want to do is chill on the couch and watch Netflix all afternoon, but guess where I am? 
on my chair in my studio shooting this video because I know that chilling on the couch will never get me closer to my goals. This will. There is obviously a lot of little tips and tricks that you can implement in your life to make it easier, but at the end of the day, I do believe that it is all coming down to a mindset shift that you need to have in your head. I will say one thing though, is that planning my week and knowing exactly what I was gonna do at what time in the week was really, really, really helpful because at the end of a hard day at work, I knew exactly what I had to do, you know, I just put my brain off and just do what I knew I had to do. Now, the last reason is that I learned about a lot of other aspects than just music production. When you're making it to full time as a music producer, it means that you have a business. And running a business means that you need to think marketing, emailing clients, making content, and most of the days I don't even make music whatsoever. Making music is one thing, but then to make money from it, it needs to be either sold or promoted in some way. So I spent a lot, and I mean a lot of time learning about marketing, writing, business, entrepreneurship, taxes, time management, literally everything I needed to be able to run a successful music business. I did this by watching a lot of YouTube videos or attending a lot of masterclasses, webinars, but also reading a ton of books about those topics. And yes, if you are curious, there will be a link in the description for all the books that I read and recommend to you. Now, if you are really motivated to create your own little music business plan to make it full time, you can book a private one-on-one -on -one call with me where I will help you define the right next steps to take for you to reach your specific goals. During the call, you can ask me anything you want. It lasts about one hour, one hour and a half. And at the end, you will get your personalized plan delivered straight to your inbox with actionable steps. You will find a link right below in the description to book a call. But in the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.